Hey folks, it's Sean McCormick and I'm clearly in the same t-shirt as the last video so maybe I recorded it around the same time. However, the edits and getting it all out and all that kind of stuff obviously is separate. So one of the features that we just got in Lightroom 8.4 is batch processing for merging. So that's HDR, panel and panel merge. So I use HDR for real estate. Um, now I do do flash stuff as well, but it depends on the client. So Airbnb just want natural light, so I use HDR for that. So I'm going to show you how you can speed up the workflow with that. So let us just dive straight into it. Let's none of the other rubbish. Let's go real estate, set up, process, all that kind of stuff. Boom. So here we are straight in. And so what I have a mix here, I have a mix of shots that I've done on the drone that I have done as either just ordinary shots or I have done as auto exposure bracketing. And I've done five. And then for the stuff on camera with my Fuji, I have shot as three bracketed sets. So to get started with this, the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to get them all together in stacks. And to do that, we go photo stacking, auto stack by capture time. OK, now, generally speaking, I will go for uh, this low amount here, like one or two seconds. Let's see what happens if I go to one second. We still get the same. The reason for that is that there are some of these that aren't stackable. Okay, so I'm going to click cancel for a second and jump down here. So it's like it's some of these images uh, down further where I was trying other things like with flash. These are kind of mixed flash, so they're not strictly. These are all kind of mixed flash. So they're not actually using um, HDR itself. Uh, that one been using HDR, but a bunch of those ones aren't. So it's detecting that those ones aren't, which is good. Right. So again, photo um, stacking and auto stack by capture time. Right. So we've got 50 stacks. So I'm just click stack and let it go and so it's creating all the stacks that is fine we can see here it skipped the ones that definitely aren't stacks and there are one or two that it they're close enough to be stacks they're probably not it's probably not a real stack and it would probably give me an error uh, i'm not going to have the whole stacking process on the video because obviously the stacking itself will take time okay but we can see here that it's given me these these were five aebs for the mavic and uh, which is how i set it up and then like i said it was three uh, brackets OK, so now it's going to select all and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go. Well, let me just run an initial one first here. Right. OK, so I go to photo. We have just a stack here and I go to photo merge and HDR. Even though it's stacked, it knows that it's actually a property HDR and it's going to create the preview. Now, the reason why I've just brought this up is to show you that I have auto align, auto settings and create stack turned on. And I have no deghosting, basically, right? So that means that these are the settings that are going to get used on everything that I do from here. So I'm just going to select here and then I'm going to go photo and photo merge HDR. OK, and now it tells me straight off the bat, 50 operations were added. Now, I probably should have had 51 to show that the bar that says more than 50 uh, operations are, you know, do you want to go ahead? Um, but yeah, you just literally click OK. So now what it's going to do is it's literally going to go and uh, create these one at a time. I'm just trying to bring that up here. But obviously this is ridiculously process and intensive. And of course, I'm doing a video at the same time. So what I'm going to do is we're going to just let one of them happen and go from there. So basically we here we can see that we've got it stacked. And the operations are running here and it will stack. It will basically go into the stack and that will be repeated for all of the other operations, basically. And I will come back when it's finished. Yeah, so here we are. Still going, still running away. Now, I just want to mention that you can actually go out to other folders and do other things. But here's the thing, right? This is really processor intensive, so you'll actually find it very, very difficult. So for the sake of it, I did in my other video when I was showing the initial uh, batch processing. I'm showing off some true tight stuff. So if I go to that particular folder here, or collection as the case may be, you can see here it's doing something here and I'm now in a completely different collection. So it has to generate the stack and stack inside a different collection. So we can see like there's no errors that you're able to do stuff outside it. You're not stuck working on the collection. So I click back and back should hopefully bring me back to where I was. And so we can see that we are 
on this one. So that means that this one here is the one that's actually working. So we can see that's now four. So you can see it's jumps. You can actually see it working as it goes. And I'm just showing you kind of the operations that are going on as we're going. So we can see here that it will go through it and we'll have the, the merge and then we'll have the stack. So we see that the, the numbers will jump up and down a little bit as well as, as the task is going. Uh, so we have three operations left. So we're on some of the, the uh, laundry area here. And I know that this is not strictly a proper one. So I think this one could give me an error. So I'm just, I'm kind of recording it just to see if it does give me an error. Okay. No, that hasn't jumped up to give me a plus. So I, I think it's basically just skipped it. That's what I'm saying that it, you know, it's essentially just skipped it. So, okay. So yeah, now, so it, this is it. So some of these are, even though they were stacked, they're not actual HDR. So it's letting you know that not everything was done inside the batch. So you do have that afterwards as well. And of course you can show in library and it'll show you those files. All right. So we now have all of our images basically processed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ignore these. I just want to work on the ones that are HDR. And so I'm going to make sure that it contains a dash HDR. Now, the reason why I'm not just looking for DNGs is because the drone shoots as, as DNGs. All right. So here we have the 48 images that stack correctly. OK, so what I'm going to do with these is now I'm going to ignore these uh, specific ones because what's about to happen, I don't need to have happen on those ones, but I do need to have it happen on the ground ones. So if I come in here, and I want to get the verticals vertical, I do need to set up and I can create a preset that I can then apply to all of the other ones. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go to develop and, and down to transform. Right, and I want to set auto. So I click auto, it'll do an auto correction. Now if I was to say use, um, if I was to select all of these and use auto sync, I would have to go through each image and do an update. I would have to click this update button um, but there is a way around this using presets and to do that we can go file and um, sorry it's in develop so we can go new preset okay and I click check none and now here's the trick right we go transform mode and transform adjustments right so that's the mode here the the actual upright transforms we don't apply them okay so that way when it sees auto it will apply them automatically okay so I'm going to call this uh, or re upright because if I call it auto upright I'll have a few of these presets already okay or re upright and it's just containing those and so click create so when I go G for grid I can now select all of these images here and I can even just do it from here where I've selected here and then user presets I go or re upright and it will now apply preset to all of those images and so I'm just going to grab a random one here and go to develop and we can see with upright that we haven't, we don't need to click this update button. It's done the upright in there. Okay. So that means that after doing the batch, all we've done is we've applied this preset that we've created and that is the bulk of the work done for our real estate, except if you've got to go in and do stuff like spot correction and stuff like that. So that really, for me, absolutely speeds up my workflow now obviously the long part of it is letting that batch process happen you can do other stuff in the background that i've shown but i would say go get your tea go do your bits you know just leave it do it and have it done it's much handier than trying to do it one image at a time or one bracket at a time which is how you used to have to do it so i'm absolutely delighted to have this now and i still have full raw control because the hdr dng that's created is effectively a raw file so folks hopefully if you're doing real estate you found this useful um, if you do like it, please do subscribe to the channel and give the video a like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you in the next video.